Hello, welcome back to Favorites with Laura. Glad to have you back. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for showing up. I hope you like what you see. Today I'm gonna to show you how to stamp your own nails. And I have this little holder, uh, magnetic holder I got from Timu. And it has a little putty, um, little putty pieces that you can use to take your nail tips and attach it to the magnetic nail holder. Now I've already sized up the tips, which I also hauled from Timu. Um, I think I posted that yesterday. This is my jelly roller. Now let me tell you, the best way to clean a jelly roller, which is what you're gonna use to pick up your stamp image, is one of those taped lint cleaners. And you just roll it across. Don't use any acetone or alcohol. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is start by painting a base coat and I'm using the Maniology color that came in the Box of Magic, um, which I also have a video for, so I'll, I'll put that down below. Um, I'm painting everything. This color, I can't remember the, the name, but I'm gonna show it on the screen here in a second. Um, but it's very sagey, it's a sage color, and I decided to use this as the base coat. Now, it was very difficult for me to figure out what design to do to show you guys. I wanna do a lot more of these video videos like this, and I think um, it's gonna get a little bit more smoother going as I go along, but um, there's so many different ways to be creative, and there's really no wrong way. Just express yourself, come up with different ways, use all your tools, and and that's what I'm doing here. So is it the best design I could come up with? Maybe not, maybe you won't like it, but it's gonna show you the basics of how I did and how you can too um, do nail art with stamping plates. And so this color, I just love this color as a base coat, but it's also great for accents. Um, but I did decide it is a stamping polish, so it does help with the stamping plates. And so they dry pretty quickly. It's not a gel. You don't need a UV light to set it. And I don't know why it screwed up the screwed on the top. I still had to paint these other four. So again, I did size all my tips and I attached them using the putty to these um, magnetic nail holders so that I can easily create these nail like press on nails for my set and what i also found is later on i'm going to do everything once i set them and stamp them i'm going to do a clear top coat using the gel clear coat that i got yesterday from timu and that is going to seal it to me make it a little harder and what's nice is I can use the UV light on the little nail holders instead of on my hand. So I like this aspect of doing my nails this way. And my nails stay short for the most part, but I just love this length of these tips that I got yesterday, again, from Timu. I will, um, again, put all the links below. So you first just want to get your base coat on. Now, this is very opaque. It doesn't take a lot. I could have done um, this a lot quicker, but... You know, I just wanted to show you this shine, this polish from Maniology is superb. It is one of the best polishes I've ever used in my life. And it just goes on um, really solid with one coat. Um, I play with it a little bit. Have you ever like over curled your hair? You're like playing around, playing around, and it's like pretty soon you're not going to have any. <laughs> doesn't do what you want it to do at all um, if you had just left it alone like I finally did with those. Now I'm trying to decide what out of all these choices am I going to use for my stamp to show you guys how to do it. Now I'm going to go pretty basic and I'm not going to get too fancy. When we go forward with new, new videos, I will do... Um, I will try to evolve and show you a little bit more techniques. As I learn them, I can show you, and as I perfect them, I'll show you too. So you can see some pink on my mat there. I had tried something and it didn't quite work out. So I'm going back to the basic that I've decided to do. And it's kind of like um, 
you know, it's not quite Halloween. I'm going to do some Halloween nails for October, but a lot of counties are having their fairs, at least where I'm living. So I'm kind of staying with like a circus fair theme. And so this first one is the dancing um, person, dancing pumpkin, basically. And I used another maniology that has a little shimmer to it. Um, I guess I, I did. Oh, I've already stamped it. So I didn't show you that first stamp. So here we go. I didn't capture that first one. So what's nice about these clear stamps is you can see through them. Now my rubber jelly stamper here, I did use a little alcohol on it at one time weeks ago. And, um, so it is a little cloudy, but it still works. And you use the lint roller to kind of pick up all those other little pieces that your stamp would have picked up off the plate. Now, um, the one I'm stamping here is like a stack of pumpkins and gourds and you just press down make sure you press the whole image on there and it's okay if it dries on the jelly roll the jelly stamper um, but on the stamping plate you want to lift it up as fast as possible because once it dries in there you're not going to get a good image so and then you clean it with the acetone on the plate now they have those little holders so you don't have to use your nails if you have them painted and with acetone um, wiping these plates off but i didn't need that because of course i don't have my nails painted i'm going to use these tips and i have these lint free cloths that you see me taking up from the right those are all from timu too and you get a good deal on those i'm trying to wipe that off it'll come right off that's a silicone mat so it'll it'll wipe right off or peel right off that pink stuff so don't worry about that so we're gonna go in and we're gonna pick up this this is one of my favorite ones which I think I showed in the thumbnail and it is a little carousel circus carousel with a horse and I thought it's one of the better images that I got on this example. And hopefully you'll be able to see a clear shot. Now towards the end, you're gonna see everything. So just bear with me. This is really just kind of, and I'm sorry that's out of frame there. I think I do get better on that. Um, just bear with me. This is the first time I've done this um, that I'm trying to be pretty good about showing you. So see how it all, you just push it down there and you, don't roll back and forth it's just one time in that pretty hopefully you can see it here but you're gonna see a lot more and that's the horse carousel there and then we're gonna come back to the thumb so it goes left to right I did my right hand thumb index finger middle finger ring finger and then pinky and you know I don't have to file these down these are like perfect length for um, my fingernail bed and I always clean in between because you don't want that you don't want any kind of polish building up in those grooves it will impede the image from from being able to be picked up later on so it's always good to clean as you go that's that's my rule of thumb here with these plates I don't want it settling in there and then me having a hard time getting it out later on um so let's see what's coming next here as you can tell this is a voiceover i did all the recording and i want to make sure you have a clear shot of stuff um, and then you want to make sure it's totally dry so that you don't dilute the polish when you do swatch it on there and plus it keeps your plate really nice I like keeping my plates nice there. Of course, it's brand new. And I just love this autumn color, this rust, sparkly, iridescent color. Um, it just, it, you can put any, you can't go wrong. This is creativity at its best. You can do anything you want to do. And, you know, even if you have to have somewhat neutral nails for your work or whatever you're doing i mean you can you can add a little bit i mean you can still have that creativity show without it doesn't have to be too much um but i just i just love playing around this now what did i stamp here i can't even remember um 
Oh, okay, so this is the Jack in the Box Clown. And it came out pretty good too. Now, what am I gonna do? So on the pinky one, I wasn't really sure because I, I didn't know how big it was. Um, so I just kind of went with some of the pumpkins that go into the corner here. And you'll see, I'll just go around that little section there that has uh, pumpkins in the corner, like a garland kind of look to them. I'm gonna pick that up and see, I didn't move it. I just pushed it down, rolled it on there and picked it up. And now I'm picking up all the little extra pieces while it's still kind of wet on there. And you're gonna have a clean, only the image portion that you want to stamp onto your nail, nothing extra. Um, and that lint roller is a lifesaver. That's got to have one of those. I got mine at the Dollar Tree for $1.25, pack of two, or I think it was two. Um, and there you go, some some cute little. Now, I thought about these baubles over here that came with my Maniology. Um, box of magic and and then I thought well you know what <laughs> this is the creative side you just want to use everything you have now it just wasn't gonna work quite right with these plates and the design I'm trying to not get too carried away although I could there is no doubt about it and you're gonna see later on maybe I did but you know what it works and I'm gonna stick with it and we're gonna continue to learn and evolve with this skill and I hope you will continue to watch this and and also learn with me give it a try try out some plates you know the Dollar Tree even have stamping plates now and I was going to try one on this video but um, I got carried away with these plates and I just never even looked back but they had some really cute ones that were going to work too and they have a plate it's about half the size of this plate and it is i don't show it in this video but um they were a dollar 25 so if you're not sure why don't you just go pick up a plate from there and give it a shot now this is um some glitter dust that came with my box of magic with the maniology and um i just wanted to try it i don't even know if this is how people put it on but um just come along for the ride with me i mean i don't again there's no right or wrong way to do your creative impulses. Whatever you want to try, give it a try. You know, that's how some of the, the best ideas come out. So my thought was I would just put this around the edges and we're going to learn together. But going forward, you're going to see how it comes out and it, it's pretty. But going forward, I think if I'm going to use this dust, in the future i would use it put it on before i ever put my stamped image on it put a clear coat on top of it to hold it and then i would use my stamped images but you know what i learned about this process and you're going to learn too um, it still came out pretty it still has a pretty design and it is still creative so i want you all to explore your creativity side and not be afraid don't ever be afraid to explore your creativity. And you you might be just really shocked at what comes out of it. And um, some of the best ideas and some of the best, just, just amazing products and ideas have come from exploring. So let's, let's all just do this together and, and embrace it. Um, so I try to go around all the edges of this with the glitter and I kind of like because it's exactly the same color as the stamping polish that I use to put the image onto these nails. And so I go through and I do all of these like this. So I do speed this up so you don't have to sit here and watch everything and I'll just chat with you. So. I wanted to let you know there is a person um, that I follow. She's adorable. She does hauls. Um, she's having a tough time. She did um, recently announce about some health issues she's having. And I just want to ask that if you are um, 
interested in checking her out that I ask you maybe just go over there give her show her a little bit of love um, her name is Diana and she's uh, her channel's name is Mimi's life and I'm going to put her link below she is definitely having some struggles she has a very positive outlook about it um, but I just love her and I love her channel and I would love it if you could head over there and show some love so here we have um, the top coat that I'm gonna use it was a top coat that I received from Timu I've already painted it I did one layer now it is a gel UV set top coat and I do that because I feel like it makes it harder um, it protects your nail a little bit better um, I'm already um, painting the other my left hand settings that I'm gonna do left hand tips I mean and um, that top coat you're gonna see me go through that whole process <laughs> but um, you can see I already put the tips on my right hand, but you're going to see these and I'm going to show you. Don't worry. We just kind of jumped ahead because it would take forever to show you every finger. Um, but here we go. Painting the space coat. And now that I know I did the right hand, now I know exactly um, how I'm going to do these, which is just a reverse. So like I was saying about Mimi's life, if you do go over there, um, send her some prayers. Let her know I sent you over there and I'd really appreciate it. Um, I know she'll appreciate all the support she can she can get and all the prayers if you do pray. Um, I know the power of pray, prayer and I appreciate it and um, I just, you know, it, it would be awesome if you could do that. So here we go. We're almost done painting these. It doesn't take too long to paint these and they dry really quick like I said earlier. Um, and I'm not sure I think I show a couple stamps here as I do this side because I didn't want to bore you too much with the same thing but I think also if you're new to stamping stamp art on your nails it's it's great to see it a couple different times so there we go we have those painted they're beautiful I mean I could paint I could paint the whole mat that color I just love this polish and I love that color but again there's so many to choose from oh So here we go, we're gonna pick up some stamps with the same color that we did before. Um, we're gonna do the Jack in the Box, the Dancing Pumpkin, the Carousel, the, let's see what else, the Stack of Pumpkin and Gourds, and then um, the Garland in the corner for the um, Pinkies. So clean as we go, clean as we go. You see I have three of them already stamped back there. And we're gonna pick up this image. Uh, looks like I'm waiting a while. You don't wanna wait too long. And there you go. Oh, that's the elephant. That's what I'm gonna put on the... So there's an elephant standing on a ball. That's right, okay. So, so cute. And we're getting all the little bits off. And again, it's okay if it dries on the jelly stamper. Um, it is much easier to pick it up with the lint roller if it's still somewhat tacky and, and not 100% dry but you can always use a paper towel too and stamp your jelly stamper on it to get it off. And so let's see if I can zoom that in. Okay, so we have all five of the second hand, the left hand already stamped. Um, we're gonna zoom in. So we got the Jack in the Box, the Gourds and Pumpkin Stack, the Dancing Pumpkin, the Carousel, and the Elephant on the Ball. And so those all came out great. Now, a normal person would have left that just the way it is. <laughs> um, because they do, they look, they look good, but I felt like something was missing. So we're gonna put the glitter on them and we're gonna go with it. We're not gonna stop. In fact, we need lots of glitter. 
So I should have thought about it and, and fixed it on this side, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's just that the glitter got everywhere when I spread it. I should have put those on before I ever did the stamping. And I recommend that you do that. You put it on first if you're going to use the glitter. If it's separate from your polish, I could have used a polish with glitter in it, but um, I didn't. So I, I mean, just so many choices, so many ways you could do this. Again, not wrong. Just maybe I'll do it a different way next time. So you can see me putting them in there. And so we're just finishing up with the glitter. Now we're gonna put that, always put the lid on your glitter. Don't wait. If you knock it, you're gonna wish you had put that lid back on right away. So um, yes, we clean the plate. We're gonna move the plate out of the way. We're gonna put the top coat on. And what's nice about gel any kind of gel pal polish, not just the top coat, is that most, the reason I like gels is because it's self-leveling. Now, it will smooth out and fill in any crevice or imperfection and just make it look gorgeous. So, of course, the, this polish went on great, so top coat didn't have much to do except to just seal it. Now. See what's happening? All the glitter is getting picked up and moved around. So you always want to wipe that brush off before you put it back in your top coat gel jar because you don't want glitter on your next project, or maybe you do, but want you may not decide until that moment. Anyway, you don't want to mix it in there. So I keep wiping it off on a paper towel off camera. And so it is kind of like moving the glitter everywhere. Even though I didn't have a lot of glitter on there, it didn't matter so and I think on the second set of nails <laughs> I might have put more glitter on so um, it totally shows it's okay I'm not gonna be too upset I'm gonna wear these nails and they actually look really pretty on um, I do show you that at the end here and so whenever you put gel a top coat on or any gel you want to let it give it a second to self level it's not going to dry it doesn't set until you use the uv light if you have an imperfection or you want to do it over again always use alcohol on a lint free cloth and you can wipe it off and start begin start again if like say it was a colored polish that you were putting on that was gel now they're all set i've already done the uv i paint i love this glue from timu i do I know there's a lot to, to choose from, but I love it because it paints on. You don't have to pour it on or squeeze it out of a bottle that doesn't really squeeze very well. Hard to control that way, but the brush you can control. So I always swatch some on the nail as well as my nail, and then I hold it for at least 10 seconds, and look, they all came out. Um, I like these nails, and I think they came out pretty. Um, they're sparkly, but still not too much, I don't think. If you like this video, though, hit the like button. Let me know if you want to see more like this, and I'll be more than happy to do it. I do have plans to do more, so I hope you'll enjoy watching them. And um, if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to subscribe now and share the video. Um, bring over a friend or two and uh, put in the comments what you want to see next. I do still want to do the Sharpie stamp plate and image, and I am going to do that next, I think, um, with some of the new images. And I think that is a really cool, cool technique. So that'll be my next one up. I do have a Timu haul for back to school coming, and I'll probably be posting that this week, if not within the next day or two. So I am doing very well. You guys have made this our channel do very well and I thought it was just like a week ago or 10 days ago I hit a thousand subscribers and I am so close to almost 1500 subscribers now and that's because of you and the support that you've shown and the love you've shown me so I want to thank you all I will be doing a giveaway to when building up to that uh, milestone. And um, I'll be doing that sooner than later because it's gonna be here before you know it. So again, thank you all. Have a great evening and let me know what you like in the comments. Bye.